Hello guys, so today in this quick tutorial I just want to show you how to get up and running with uh, Google Mock. So how to download it, compile it and just uh, run a quick test. Okay. So first of all, if you Google for Google Mock, you will find the Google Mock page and you will find export to GitHub page. Okay, so Google Mock actually depends on GTest because GTest is the actual testing framework. So you will need to do that for both. Uh, I export it on GitHub because I use GitHub quite a bit, so for me it's easier to manage. So now, under my username, I have both Google Mock and you can see that Google Test. Okay, so now what I can do is just to clone them wherever I need. Okay, so in the terminal right now I am in the folder where I usually work called Work in Progress in the C. Uh, folder and you can see we have a lips folder where usually I want to put all the external stuff that uh, I have to compile manually so basically it's not installed as a package okay so if I go inside lips uh, you see there is a lib folder where I put the compiler libs and all the other folder basically uh, GitHub repository that I clone and I use to do my stuff. Okay, so in here I'm just going to clone Google Test. Here we go. Meanwhile, I'm going to grab uh, Google Mock. So git clone Google Mock. Here we go. So now we see we have both Google Mock and Google Test. So let's go inside Google Mock. Let's see what we have here. So there is a README, which I highly recommend you to read, but basically says go inside uh, Make folder, and you will see there is a, there is a Make file there. So let's open the the Make file. Let's see, it's quite uh, quite a simple make file so the only thing it basically says to modify is to modify the folders to Google test and the Google mock directory okay so since we are inside Google mock directory mock sorry make we just need to go up one and instead here I will need to change that because I will need to go up twice and then I will find the Google the Google test um, folder okay so now if you're there I can just make you see everything should go fine and here we go so now we, we got an executable and you see we, we are up and running but now basically with the make it just built a series of tests it didn't actually build uh, the library that, that I want to use for for my test so basically when I want to link to, to this stuff okay so in order to do so we see here we have a target for Google mock dot a and Google Mac underscore main dot a which are the two library needs but rather than renaming that later I'm just going to add lib in front so we'll f it will generate the correct stuff I need so let me make clean so we don't have anything more inside there and now I'm just going to make lib gmock.a because actually it's the lib the main lib I need there you go, so it's compiling everything so a good thing about this make file we don't actually have to go and compile also Google test because it's doing that for us so if I list now we see we have all the dot a so the Google mock all Google uh, Google test all that are the object needed to be linked together and then we have the library Google mock a so we do the same now for Google mock main a so it's going to compile so now if I list everything so all the sorry all the dot a we see we have both of them so now the only thing I'm going to do is going to copy those in my lips folder so I think I don't need to do sudo so just cp all the dot a and I want to do that inside one more I think lip so if now I list uh, inside 
inside lib, you see we have the two libraries. Perfect. So now uh, let's jump into Sublime where I created a simple project. So in a folder called Google Mock Test Build, uh, I just created a test, uh, a test CPP, which needs to include the Google Mock and a simple class, where a really simple class, where the only thing I'm going to do, I pass to the constructor a value, I store the value, and then I create a test to to see if I get the expected value I want. So. Uh, again, this is not a tutorial about how to use Google Test, just how to get up and running compiling that. So I'm not going to explain all the, the test, all the things for the test. So now let's actually try to compile that. So let me get rid of that. Okay, so I need to go up a couple of folders. Sorry. Then I think it's tutorials. Oop. One more. Here we go, tutorials, and then uh, here we go. So we are inside that folder. We can see there we have the test CPP file. So the test is actually the this executable we already created, so you can see it works. But let me remove that so we can recreate that from scratch. So here we go. So you can see here is removed. Also, if we list, we just have the CPP now. So we are going to call straight the ZCC sorry for the CPP and uh, without passing anything we'll see that of course it's going to complain so the first thing is to say okay I cannot find uh, Google mock stuff so we need to add a path to that and so I'm going to grab copy and paste the path to my uh, Google mock folder in the include folder so let's run that now okay it's fine you cannot find uh, Google test stuff so we need also to include of course Google, uh, the include path for the Google test so I'm going to do so let me copy and paste the path yep so let's see and we got a huge amount of missing reference so all the testing stuff because we didn't link any any library basically so let's do that so we actually need to tell where to find the library so let's pass the path where oops didn't want to do that where the library we com compile are so inside lips and inside lip okay so now i want to to link google mock and mock main all right that should be it let's actually see if it works and okay so we got different problem now so google mock actual actual source sorry google mock also need and gts also need to to have to link it to pthread because it's actually threaded so let's also link pthread and actually it didn't say where I want the output file to go and it was going to generate the default one I think it's out out.a or something like that so let's just say okay make a test executable for us okay so everything works went fine so we see we generated um, a test is executable we can actually run and here we go the test pass so we run the constructor test we actually create it here and everything runs okay so let's actually just see here we go so that's basically all the library that's been picked up for a runtime library and this doesn't show up because uh, we actually compiled the library statically. You only, you only could find the static one, so we compiled it. So we linked that. Okay. So let's run it again, so you can see again that everything runs. So if we run here another test, uh, let's call it constructor test to let's pass 15. Of course, making a second test like that doesn't make much sense, but just for uh, showing purpose 
so let's remove test let's compile again there we go and let's run test so you see now you actually run two tests okay so that's it for this tutorial i hope it's useful for you guys and see you in the next one bye bye